Hello everyone in this video let us discuss uh, variables and data types. So we have been uh, discussing about uh, things, various things that you can do with uh, Groovy and uh, in the previous video we spent time uh, looking at uh, the comments and in one of the uh, video, uh, I think it was before the comments video, we discussed uh, how we can uh, run or how we can basically create a program to display the FizzBuzz. So FizzBuzz is a popular game and if you rem remember in that particular uh, video we used uh, a small piece of code and in that particular piece of code we also declared a variable. Now I promised in that video that I will probably make a separate video on uh, variables and data types. So if I show you the code uh, very quickly, if I go back to my uh, to my notes here. So this is the code that uh, we were looking at that we actually wrote last time. And uh, in this particular piece of code, the important thing here that uh, uh, we are trying to do is we are trying to, to basically print various numbers from one to 100 and uh, if the number is uh, divisible by three, we are printing face, we are printing bus if the number is divisible by five, and we are printing face bus if the number is uh, divisible by both three and five. Now, we have this for loop, uh, and we discussed about for loop briefly, and uh, we will uh, also discuss it uh, when we have more opportunities in future, when we are of course writing code. Now, in this particular piece of code, we are basically using this uh, int i variable which is basically keeping track of the numbers from 1 all the way to 100. Now we are basically declaring a variable with the data type. Now what exactly is a variable? So variable is nothing but uh, a container that will store some value that will be used in the program or in the code. Now in our example we uh, were using the variable i to to keep track of the count of uh, the numbers and we are and we were actually updating it because when you create a variable you also in most cases you will be updating it uh, with uh, some temporary value or maybe you are using it for calculation and uh, when you declare a variable you have few ways of doing it and of course i'm not really going in depth of uh, uh, the of, of the variable declaration uh, in Groovy. I just want to give you the information that is enough to get you started. Now, to declare a variable uh, uh, in uh, Groovy, you can simply use a data type. Let us say you are using uh, this uh, int i, which is uh, nothing but uh, a number, integer number that will be uh, used by the program. You can also use something like this string name. Now the moment you use the string keyword here, you are telling compiler that a name will have some string. Uh, and it is sometimes useful. I think as a good practice, you should declare uh, variables with data type. So it is clear for you as well to read the code. Although in Groovy, you have some liberty. You, you, you can just, you know, use uh, uh, a variable and you can assign different values, different type of values to it. But it is better to always declare because sometimes you need to do some troubleshooting and um, if you're looking at the code and you know that this is of course uh, a variable of type string or maybe integer or float, then it will really help you. It will improve the readability and of course it is also good for the compiler to know in advance what is the purpose of this variable. You can also use uh, this uh, uh, this keyword called uh, define or rather def uh, followed by the variable name or var like var k. So you have some ways to uh, declare your variable. Now, since we're talking about uh, variable uh, declarations, let us also talk about uh, very quickly what are data types. So if I ask you what is the difference between uh, one to three and uh, India, which is uh, a string 
or what is the difference between one to three and Ravi, which is of course my name. So of course uh, you know the difference. One to three is a number, and uh, Ravi or India or uh, London or Delhi is nothing but uh, a name of different places or cities or countries. And when you are uh, storing these things in your code, you may be declaring it with a string or integer. So based on what type of information you want to store or what type of information you want to process, you would use the relevant or right uh, data type. Similarly, if you're talking about, let us say, uh, 1 to 3 and 1 to 3, 3.5. So of course, I'm talking like very bas basics and fundamentals, but uh, uh, 1 to 3 is nothing but uh, integer 1 to 3.5 could be a float or double. Uh, so this is something that uh, you, you can uh, keep in mind uh, in the beginning when you are uh, maybe writing your uh, code. Use the right uh, uh, data type. If you know in advance, then it is great. Although in Groovy, you have some liberty, you can uh, choose not to decide uh, in the beginning the, the data type. So uh, this is all I wanted to discuss in this uh, video. And uh, if you are following this uh, video series, where I am uh, talking about uh, uh, mastering Groovy, you uh, will get a lot of opportunities to write code. And this is also my recommendation. If you are learning a programming language, you can of course read a book, like a proper textbook, and then you can uh, try to go through some of the examples or exercises. But my recommendation would be to solve some real problems, some real world problems. I'm talking about uh, Groovy because uh, if uh, you are following my channel, I'm sure you know about uh, uh, what type of videos I make. I make a lot of videos on, uh, in fact, most of my videos are uh, on Atlassian tools. So I think uh, for the past seven or eight months, I'm just totally focused on Atlassian. And if you are, uh, let us say, doing Jira administration, uh, you, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with Scriptina for Jira. I've talked a lot about uh, Scriptina for Jira. And Scriptina for Jira is... Uh, uh, is an add-on, is an app that can actually uh, help you with automation and the scripting language that you will use when you're using script enough for Jira would be groovy. So it is of course one example, you don't have to use uh, Jira or you don't have to uh, follow those examples, but uh, you can also find something that is relevant to your field. So. I'm sure if you're following this uh, video series, Mastering Groovy, uh, then I guess you have some intention to learn Groovy and uh, I'm also sure that you have some 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 practical uh, use cases or maybe you are trying to solve some real problems. So my, my, my advice, my recommendation would be to find some real world problems and uh, apart from of course, uh, you know, what you might already uh, have a problem that you're trying to solve. If you are from Atlassian domain, you can also uh, look at uh, script for Jira. You can also try to uh, use it for doing automation. And of course, you have this example here uh, of, uh, of course, learning various fundamentals of Groovy, which is, of course, uh, really useful because it will really make you uh, good in uh, writing code and, and it will also give you this solid foundation. So we will continue looking at uh, various other things and aspects of uh, this language. And uh, this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.